हेलो एवरी वन आई एम डॉक्टर अनिल कामत आई एम अ सीनियर कंसल्टेंट सर्जिकल ऑनकोलॉजिस्ट हियर एट हीस कैंसर सेंटर सो आई विल टेक दिस ऑपॉर्चुनिटी टू टॉक टू ऑल अबाउट ट्यूमर्स ऑफ द एपेंडिक्स नाउ नॉट मेनी पीपल टॉक अबाउट ट्यूमर्स ऑफ द एपेंडिक्स बिकॉज दिस इज क्वाइट रेयर ट्यूमर्स ऑफ द एपेंडिक्स आर यूजली क्लासिफाइड अलॉन्ग विद कोलॉनिक कार्सिनोमास एंड ओनली वन परसेंट ऑफ द कैंसर्स of uh, colon can be related to the appendix but as we know the tumors of the appendix can behave in a totally different manner as compared to colonic cancers so though rare it is important to know about these tumors so like in other areas the tumors can be of a benign type and it can be of a malignant type in malignant we have the lower grade ones and the higher grade ones and each one is treated a little differently so this in this video i would like to talk to you all about low grade tumors of the appendix the high grade ones which behave more like cancers aggressive cancers i'll talk in a separate video so why is it important how is it detected and how is it treated so let me tell you the typical presentation so like many surgeons they do surgery for appendicitis sometimes they find that the appendix has ballooned out this condition is called as a mucosal of the appendix the common way that in which we find low grade appendicial neoplasms present is by virtue of a mucosal or a ballooning and swelling of the appendix so most of them are usually treated as a case of appendicitis the appendix is removed and then the pathology report says that it's a low grade appendicial neoplasm so can it be detected preoperatively in certain cases yes so if there is a atypical presentation of a appendicitis it is better to do a ct scan of the abdomen to detect if something else is there apart from just appendicitis and sometimes the ct scan might find a tumor at the base of the appendix which is blocking the uh, this one uh, the uh, drainage of the appendix and the mucus would have uh, accumulated in the appendix causing it to balloon out now suppose the patient comes to us after surgery and the report says that there is a low grade mucinous neoplasm what do we need to do so this will this the answer may vary according to various uh, situations now suppose the base is free and there is no spillage of any of the mucinous contents at the time of surgery we may just opt to observe the patients and most of these patients do well without any treatment but suppose the base is involved and the margins are not free we may have to recommend the patient another surgery where we have to go a little wider and maybe remove some part of the intestine also to complete the treatment now the most dreaded part of a low grade mucinous neoplasm is if there is spillage of the mucinous contents these contents can go on and deposit in rest of the abdomen and this condition is called pseudomyxoma peritoneae or in common terms it's called a jelly belly where you find lot of mucinous deposition all over the abdomen this can be a very difficult condition to treat and normally it requires opening of the abdomen widely removing of all the deposits in the abdomen a procedure known as cytoreductive surgery and this alone may not be sufficient because the mucus will tend to recur back we may have to combine it with circulation of chemotherapy in the abdomen a procedure known as hypex or hyperthermic intraperitoneal chemotherapy so these are the things which we need to know about low grade appendicial neoplasms thank you